Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay, so they have given one function to us, and we have to find its poles with its order, and also we have to calculate its residue. Right? Let us write the given function first. We have. See, uh, actually the numerator and denominator has power two, so I will write a separate power. So it will be easy to understand. Two z plus one square. First of all, we have to find its pole. Getting so actually the definition involves Lorentz series expansion, and using that we find the poles. But see, when you have very simple examples like this, you can easily find pole with its order by just by observing them. First of all, tell me for what value of z denominator will be zero? For what value of z here? Getting. Let us see. Uh, what will I do? I will consider denominator is equal to zero, and I will solve. Denominator is 2z plus 1. Square is there, but no need to consider square. If the whatever inside bracket is zero, obviously square will be also zero. So just shift one on that side. 2z is equal to minus one. Shift two on that side. So z is equal to minus one by two. It means if I put z is equal to minus one by two. Denominator will be zero since I solved the same equation by considering denominator is equal to zero. So it means it is a pole. Getting it is a pole. So therefore, clearly, z is equal to minus one by two is a pole. So now the next question is what is its order? Tell me what is power of this bracket two. So that's why it's a pole of order two. Pole of let me mention here. Order two, so I got it's a pole of order two. See, actually, uh, after that we have to find residue, right? We have to find residue. So the definition of residue is uh, involves Lorentz series expansion. It is a b one coefficient of one upon z minus z naught. But see, when you have pole of some order, we have a different formula to calculate residue. So I'm going to use formula here, right? Formula. So residue. Of f of z at z is equal to this minus one by two at z is equal to minus one by two, right? Uh, actually, uh, there are two formulas to calculate residue. The first formula is for simple pole. Simple pole means what? Pole of order one. The second formula is po uh, pole with order greater than one. So here we have order greater than one. So I wish I will go for the second formula. So if you don't know, I will mention the formula here, and just by observing them, we will solve the problem. So the formula is residue. Let me mention here one upon n minus one factorial limit z tends to z naught n minus one derivative z minus z naught raised to n f of z. I hope it is visible to you. I will read here. So it will be clear to you. One upon n minus one factorial limit z tends to z naught n minus one derivative n minus one derivative inside the bracket z minus z naught raised to n f of z. So now the question is what is n? N means its order. So here value of n is two. Z naught z naught is a pole. Our pole is minus one by two. So let us put the values in that formula. One upon n means two. So two minus one, one factorial limit z tends to. What is our z naught? Our z naught is this minus one by two. N minus one derivative. N is two. So two minus one, one. So first derivative only. Simply I will mention d by dz. Z minus z naught is minus one by two. But see already we have a minus sign. So minus minus plus one by two square. f of z okay so let us simplify more one factorial is one itself so no need to write limit z tends to minus 1 by 2 derivative what will i do i will cross multiply okay let us see what will happen if i cross multiply 2z plus 1 upon 2 square what is our f of z our f of z is this one i will use z square upon 2z, 2z plus 1 square. 
so that formula is not required now let me remove okay let us use this space to write the next part okay so this is equal to limit z tends to minus 1 by 2 right uh, we have to find derivative but what will i do i will simplify it first and then i will go for derivative derivative of right uh, we can take separate separate powers 2z plus 1 square divided by square of 2 which is 4 into z square is there in denominator 2z plus 1 square agree yes so tell me can we cancel anything here yes obviously that 2z plus 1 square will get cancel agree cancel okay finish so what is remaining then limit z tends to minus 1 by 2 what is remaining that z square by 4 but see one 1 by 4 is a constant now so i am taking outside so inside the bracket we have simply z square after that we will find derivative what is the derivative of z square 2z so this is equal to limit z tends to minus 1 by 2 1 by 4 into 2z so limit z tends to minus 1 by 2 2 to cancel and we will have z by 2 so after that we will apply the limit apply the limit means what simply we have to put z is equal to minus 1 by 2 so let us put here so minus 1 by 2 at numerator and in denominator also we have 2 so if you simplify you will get minus 1 by 4 so this is the required answer and this is required residue okay so we will stop here make a screenshot of it and then we will stop thank you